been two years to the day since the dam breach caused flooding along the Boardman River, it damaged more than 60 properties. Now, a settlement has been reached in a lawsuit against the city and contractors. 7 to 4's Jamie Ennis was at tonight's city commission meeting. She joins us live in the studio. All right, Jamie, what did they decide tonight? Mark, all along the city has maintained it did everything according to the book and the settlement commissioners agreed to maintains the same, freeing them from claims made specifically against the city. Commissioners went behind closed doors to talk through the legal issues. Afterward, they approved a settlement agreement that satisfies all of the plaintiff's environmental claims. There are no costs to the city. The, project, the project's main contractor, Molon Excavating, will pay $120,000 to the plaintiffs. They'll also put $180,000 into the river settlement fund. Basically addressing the quality of the river, uh, identifying projects that will improve the river's quality uh, and evaluating the health of the river moving forward. There are ongoing cross claims between parties related to the damaged homes along the Boardman River. Otten West says there are still steps involved with dealing with the aftermath of the dam breach, but this is a step in the right direction. Reporting live in the studio, Jamie Innes, 7 and 4 News. All right, thanks, Jamie. The River Settlement Fund will be handled by the Grand Traverse Conservation District. The money will go towards supplemental environmental projects that need state approval.